<laughs> you think your toy robot can beat mine? You're up against this chap. Denbal Senki does justice to a good anime. The premise of the animation is that kids build toy robots and put them into battle. The graphics are amazing for a PSP game and the game also has cutscenes from the anime. And the in-game cutscenes look amazing too. In the game someone corrupts the toy robots in the world and now you and your friends go on a world tour to solve problems. It's really nice that you have a world to explore because this way areas feel super varied. In them you roam around like you would in an RPG and take on quests and side quests. There are also some occasional random encounters that get you into battle. The combat system is amazing, it's like some simplified version of a Gundam game. It's fast paced, you get combos and special moves, you can customize your loadout in very different sorts, you get plenty of options there. So many that you can say that you can build your own robot. Ok, it's not as deep as a Gundam game. But still you get plenty of options. Also the combat has giant boss battles. On PSP you have the disadvantage that you can't control the camera. I wasn't bothered by it because I'm used to not having control over the camera on PSP games even if reviewers seem to constantly complain about it. The game keeps the camera centered behind the character. But still some complaint. So just know that on PlayStation Vita you have the camera controls but on PSP the camera stays locked behind the character. Other quirks of the game include the dungeons, which aren't really dungeons. So dungeons in this game become this board from where you enter battles. Also by the end of the game you get side scrolling levels like this with very clunky controls. The story is great and you can understand it without even knowing Japanese. As differences between the Vita and the PSP version just know that they are the same game. Only that the Vita has better graphics, slightly better graphics. And the Vita also has camera controls because it has two joysticks. Overall, I totally recommend you to play Dumbbell Sankey. It's a hidden gem. The game has high production value both visually and gameplay wise. Don't miss out on this one.